हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द पैपिल एडिमा सो इफ यू सी इन द पैपिल एडिमा वन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन द पैपिल एडिमा इज हियर देयर इज पैपिल एडिमा मेनली अकर्स ड्यू टू इंक्रीज्ड इंट्राक्रेनियल टेंशन व्हेनेवर देयर इज इंक्रीज्ड इंट्राक्रेनियल टेंशन देयर विल बी स्टैसिस to the flow of axoplasm the axoplasm will decrease so this stasis to the flow of axoplasm will cause two changes one it will cause folds in the retina which are the mechanical changes which are seen these folds are given a name which is called as patent lines are seen and you will also see presence of vascular changes are seen because of the vascular changes there will be optic disc edema is seen so there will be patent lines are seen and optic disc edema is seen and one more thing here you will see presence of enlargement of blind spot is seen in papillary edema right now remember in papillary edema there are two things one there will be folds in the retina and there will be visual changes second see these are seen in papillary edema so whenever but whenever patient has increased intracranial pressure even before the papillary edema develops or even the patient lands up into papillary edema there will be symptoms of vomiting nausea all the intracranial symptoms like headache vomiting nausea these are also seen in the patient one important thing is grades so papillary edema grades are very very important so we have five grades of papillary edema 1 2 3 4 5 grades okay what is the name of this grades it is frischen stages frischen frischen stages of papillary edema so remember in the frischen stages of papillary edema number 1 this is mainly about the optic disc okay in the number 1 the optic disc will be uh, crescentric in shape or c shaped grayish halo will be seen this is optic disc there is gray c shaped grayish halo will be seen why because the papillary edema mainly starts from the nasal side okay so because it starts from the nasal side okay there is temporal sparing is seen okay because it starts from the nasal side you can see temporal sparing being seen so if this is the temporal side so this is how you see c shaped okay so this is called has grayish c shaped halo this is called has grayish c shaped halo around the disc because of the involvement of nasal fibers predominantly and temporal fibers being spared okay then in the second stage complete the disc is involved so here because everything the all the sides are involved it is circumscribed halo is seen circumscribed halo is seen that is there is obscuration of nasal border of the disc is seen in the stage 1 and there is complete halo or complete obscuration is seen in the stage 2 okay then stage 3 stage 3 there is circumferential halo and obscuration is seen along with that there will be vessels in the optic disc right one of the vessel or in the one segment there is obscuration so here there is circumscribed halo along with that there is obscuration of vessel definitely but this obscuration of vessel is present only in one vessel at least one vessel <coughs> it is present at least one vessel then stage 4 in stage 4 then you will see <coughs> complete halo and there is also the obscuration of disc is present but it is majorly present complete halo with complete obscuration the obscuration is present in majorly major part it is present in the major part you will see obscuration so if for example here i am seeing obscuration in this part not completely but in the major part you will see obscuration that means you cannot see them obscuration here means you cannot see the things properly okay then in the fifth stage uh, there is complete obscuration the cup is obscurated uh, obliterated sorry cup is obliterated and obscuration of all vessels is seen all the vessels are not clearly seen so this is the frischen staging okay now if you see the clinical features so clinical features mainly include here there will be number one as i have said optic disc edema will be seen okay then there will be uh, because 
there is no involvement of visual change so there is no diminution of vision in early stages diminution of vision is only seen in late stages if it is positive in early stages then think of optic neuritis but never never it is not optic it is not op pap papillary edema okay because it is always seen in the later stages and there will be the symptoms of nausea vomiting headache which is due to increased intracranial pressure amaurosis fugax is seen this amaurosis fugax is mainly seen whenever there is um, in, uh, there is uh, uh, obstruction in the carotid artery thus as a result because of decreased blood decreased blood supply to the eye there will be obscuration or visual curtain which occurs in the eye so that is amaurosis fugax which is transient attack of visual obscuration or visual uh, loss will be seen on one eye just like a curtain falling from the eye okay that is sudden visual uh, visual loss in one eye is seen in uh, amaurosis fugax due to carotid artery embolism or ophthalmic artery embolism okay next next there will be enlargement of blind spot will be seen as i have already said there will be enlargement of blind spot and remember color vision will be normal there is normal out of phenomenon there is no no out of phenomenon no purplish phenomenon purplish phenomenon purplish phenomenon which are seen in optic neuritis they are not there how are you going to treat it you will have to treat the cause so this is papil edema thank you Thank you and thank you for watching